Hello YouTube, I've got the Nexus 7 2013 Flow Edition right here and we're going to install CyEngine Mod 14.1. We're also going to install that with Google Gaps with Android 7.1. So we're going to go download these two and then we'll go ahead and install them. These two packages have finished downloading, so now we're going to reboot into TeamWin Recovery Project. Now time to install the ROM. First we've got to wipe the system. So go into wipe and advanced wipe. We can clear Dalvik system data and cache. Do not clear internal storage. That's where the, the uh, ROM zip file is stored. The data, that means we'll lose all app data, etc. System, if you wipe the system and reboot, you won't be able to boot into anything. Um, so you need to install ROM after that. Okay, it's done wiping. Click back, click back, back, and into install. Now go ahead and find the uh, CyEngineMod 14.1 package. Let's wipe that. Okay, it's done installing. And the last thing we need to do is install the Open Gaps 7.1. and we are ready to reboot the system. And now CyEngineMod 14.1 has successfully booted up and we can go through the setup. simple setup screen into the launcher and there was one uh, crash couple crashes that showed up during the setup I don't know what that was about hopefully there's no big issue with that right off the bat the icons do look updated and pretty material so I've looked through it quite a bit and it's a pretty good ROM overall. There's not too much customization but at the same time it's definitely enough. If you long press on the home screen you can get to the um, settings just simply swiping up from the bottom here. And so that's a nice feature you can just quickly access the settings, you don't have to go into a whole different activity. Now obviously you can install a separate launcher so you can have whatever launcher you want. You can install Google Now or whatever and you can also enable the Google search bar at the top which is disabled well it was disabled by default probably because I didn't have Google search installed when I first installed Google gaps because I installed Pico gaps I don't really use Google search but you know there's also you know just general settings grid size icon labels drawer style the drawer style right now it's at sections so it looks like this and it is vertical and by default the search bar is at the bottom but you can change that if you drag up let's first of all change drawer style to compact and you can see now it's more like a grid and then let's change that back and then I'll change the fast scroll type to vertical now this is what it was like when I last tried out CyEngineMod where the scrolling is at the right hand side of the screen. And then from there there's just the basic settings for the home screen. Now let's go into system settings and look what's in there. So in the system settings we've got a normal looking Android N setting screen with the pullout bar to the right with all the quick settings access. Let's just go through these settings real quick. We've got the display settings. There's probably nothing special here. This is basically just the default display settings. All these are basically default. And then we've got buttons. Here we've got buttons and layout. This is for the nav bar. 
and we can re reorder these and we can add new buttons such as a search button and here you can see there's now a search button to the right so that's uh, pretty standard in CyanogenMod there's usually something like this and then there's also power menu buttons so we can add the screenshot button and a sound panel so now when I long press on the power button we now have screenshot and the sound options and then there's the power button twice for camera that's enabled by default so I can double tap that and it opens the camera it's asking to access the device location I don't need to do that right now and while we're here the camera does work for the most part it's pretty good but I did have some issues it seems like there is a bug with this camera um, you can see right here it took a pretty good picture of my camera but in other times when I take the picture it's just blank and just nothing shows up so there's definitely something up with the camera I also took video and that did work fine now then we've got wake up device for volume button there's the playback controls and just some of the standard stuff now let's go on into status bar so here we've got the status bar icons this is just everything that's going to be showing up here we've got for headset so I guess if you plug in your uh, headphones it will show up so I guess if Bluetooth is on and now you can see there's a Bluetooth icon in the status bar and you could if you really wanted to disable the Wi-Fi icon or something like that whatever you want and then the clock style center left hidden I like it centered status battery status style it shows up as circle but it looks like that is not working yet you could change it to text and it's only text uh, but it looks like the circle does not work currently we've got quick pull down on the right this is pretty standard pull down from the right and it pulls down all the way instead of if you did in the center it would pull down semi full way and while we're here we can also um, look at the editing tiles so if you press the edit button you can drag these around put the put them wherever you want and we can drag new tiles in so we've got these basic settings and there's also brightness control where you can control the brightness from the status bar. Show notification count, double tap to sleep. So if I double tap this, it goes to sleep. That's about it for the settings. I can go into about just to show you this is Android 7.1 running CyanogenMod 14. And I also enabled developer options, triple tapping the build number, or I think quadruple tapping. And you can also see we can go into the little Easter egg thing. And if you long press on the N, for some reason it shows a cat. And then other times it shows that. So we've got that. And then if you go into the developer options, which were enabled from quadruple tapping the um, build, build number, you can enable root access for your device so we can change it to apps and ADB and now we have root another thing that is goes along with Android N is multi window so if I long press on the recents button we can get a split screen and for example we could have settings and the browser and you can also re size the windows now we have two windows this is a pretty nice feature for Android N so overall this is a pretty good ROM it's nothing crazy but definitely works as a daily driver for Android N since there's not too many ROMs yet for the Nexus 7 with Android N it's a pretty good ROM I hope you enjoyed this overview in the description I've got the links to the ROM and Google Gaps and then hit a like and subscribe if you like these types of videos. Thank you for watching.